we're standing here in front of a home in the city of Vancouver on Point Grey Road that's a step five net zero home. Uh, we completed the home in uh, 2021. Uh, the interesting uh, features about this house is one, it looks like a traditional house. There's nothing that would scream energy efficiency uh, at all. Um, and uh, in order to, to get to this step five uh, net zero, um, we basically have a home that's completely wrapped in insulation. And so underneath the home, we have uh, 12 inches of insulation under the entire uh, raft slab. There's no basement here. And that insulation uh, also runs up on the exterior of the building. We have a two by six wall and on the outside of the wall is uh, four inches of uh, mineral wool insulation. And that continues right up uh, over the top of the house uh, on the roof as well. Likewise, a very important feature with these homes is the air tightness. And we have a uh, continuous air barrier that's um, behind the insulation and it wraps right up uh, and over top of the roof as well. Uh, you'll also notice with the glazing on this house, there are fiberglass uh, window from Cascadia, locally sourced, and it's uh, a passive certified um, doors and windows. Uh, and you'll notice uh, the heat pumps there as well. We have um, one for uh, a bit of uh, heating and cooling in the house, which is very minimal because of how energy efficient the home is. And then the other heat pump is a sand and uh, heat pump, which uh, produces the hot water for the home. So this is a fully electrified uh, build, uh, no gas whatsoever. And then the uh, other thing to make it net zero is we have solar panels on the roof. Uh, and with this home, uh, the solar panels generate 37 gigajoules uh, per year and the energy consumption of this home is 34 gigajoules per year. So it's a true net zero build. So this home is resilient in a changing climate. So as the world warms, this home will continue to be comfor comfortable. And in uh, Canada, increasingly, we've gotten smoke events from forest fires. Uh, this home has a very high level of filtration. So it's a place of refuge um, as the world warms and as we have more smoke events and more pollution. Uh, this home provides clean air and a comfortable uh, living environment. Uh, whereas many homes will need to be adapted to be able to provide the same.